Okay, we're going to figure out the inverse Laplace transform this right here, and we see that we have e to the negative two s, and this right here is e to the negative four s. And remember, whenever we have e to the negative whatever s, at the end we'll end up with a unit step function in the t world, right? And this is of course different than that. So we are going to break this into two little fractions first. And I'll write this down right here for you guys. This is going to be the inverse Laplace transform of this, which is e to the negative 2s over s plus 2. And I'll close the brace right here. And then this is negative 3. It's a constant multiple, so let me take that to the front. And then we have the inverse Laplace. And then let's put that on the top, which is e to the negative 4s over the same denominator, which is s plus 2 like that. Okay, for this one, as we know, you see that this is negative 2s, right? So the a value here is 2. And what does that mean? Remember, whenever we have e to the negative as, we are going to end up with a unit step function u of t minus a, right? So let me just put that down right here, u of t minus the a, which is the 2, like that, all right? And perhaps also write this down, and then we need more functions here. Though. Don't get me wrong, we need more right here. But let me just write this down, down right here as well. We have the negative 3. This right here, the a value is positive 4. That means I must have u of t minus 4, right? And this is what we have. And now, I have to figure out what function are we talking about, right? And let's do that on the side real quick. Um, I will put this down in blue, I'll say. All right. Here's how you can do it. When you take this out, right? Once again, when you have e to the negative 2s, this will tell you you must have this. And you look at the leftover, which you have to look at the inverse of plus of just 1 over s plus 2. And as usual, I'll put the s in red. And you have to ask yourself, this is what? Well, this is going to be s minus negative 2. That's going to be e to the negative 2t, right? e to the negative 2t. And the reason is because, uh, let me just write this down. The reason is because we know that, to put on a note. The Laplace transform of e to the at, this right here is equal to 1 over s minus a, right? And we are looking at this backwards. All right. This right here, it will be your function, f of t. And then, as you know, this right here, the input is t minus 2. What does that mean? Well, I just have to plug in t minus 2 into the t right here. That means I have to plug in the t minus 2 into here. That means I will have e to the negative 2. And you open the parentheses, and this t becomes t minus 2, like that. Right? And for this one, you still have to look at the f of t, which is the same thing, because if you look at 1 over s plus 2, which is that, right? And this is your f of t, and you are going to substitute t minus 4 into this t, and now you are going to multiply e to the negative 2, parentheses, t minus 4. And I will say this is it, because the rest is just, you can just distribute whatever you want to distribute, and yeah, this is it. I think this is much clearer than uh, you distribute, but this is it.